Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm with Ken Napsok. And we are here to talk about, do a trailer review and reaction for Game of Thrones Season 7. Uh, Ken, you and me are the biggest Game of Thrones fans here at Collider. That's a fact. Yes, you have read the books. I have not. I'm purposely right. waiting until after the series is over. Fair listen, enough. But you know all about the books. But you and me, we talk about Game of Thrones all the time. Yep. You've got a daily uh, like audio podcast da as well. Daily Thrones on Anchor. Talk about daily uh, Game of Thrones there all the time. Yeah. yeah, and I just talk about it, you know, in my sleep, at home, <laughs> in, the, should, to, to, in the mirror to myself. But yeah, uh, we we've done a trailer. Re reaction review before but that, those were like those kind of concept type of trailers the teases uh you and josh watched a block of ice melt for many hours <laughs> i think 48 minutes of yeah. ice slowly melting with a date inside of it but this is the first time we're seeing real actual footage this is great and entertainment week has been released in first the pictures yes then that article yesterday that season seven and eight is going to be faster paced than what we're used to as game of thrones mm -hmm. fans and then they drop this on us today yeah and this is the longest this is the premiere is what july 16th correct this is the longest time between seasons game of thrones has ever had can't you tell by the nail marks i'm clawing at myself <laughs> to get to more game of thrones all right we're gonna watch the trailer and then we'll talk about it afterwards here we this. go it's a minute 48 That's similar to the... Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. No. Whatever stands in our way... A map. Oh, wow. We will defeat it. Oh, look at that Lannister shield. We're the last Lannisters. The last ones you count. How huge the dragons are now. 747. I was born uh, to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Well, then you cost it everyone. And I will. It's home. Oh. The King of the North! <laughs> Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand. I'm trying to plant Last those seeds. hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and bound together, we will die. Ooh. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Money shot! There you go. The Great War is here. The Great War is here. The new season. Wow, they don't even say season seven, just the new season. Wow. July 16th, uh, seven episodes. Play it again, play it again, over and over yeah, and over yeah, and over yeah. and, sure and over. We'll, I'm sure you and me will be watching this frame multiple Frame by times. frame by frame. What are your overall thoughts? Overall thoughts, like it says, the Great War is coming. I kept thinking season seven was going to be about the war for Westeros, so to speak, and season eight would be the war for the world. Maybe the wall comes down, mm -hmm. Night King moves down. There's a chance that starts here, mm -hmm. starts now. Um, I love what Cersei's saying. We got enemies east. West, North, South, Dorne, uh, Danny's coming over, all that stuff, and they are there. She is, she's ready for this. She started this war. She wants to. She said, "We're the last Lannisters." Is Jamie on board for that? Does Jamie oh, agree with her? Man. Is he the Valonqar? What is this? I don't know. Well, I, I on on your uh, daily uh, audio podcast, I yeah. had mentioned that I think that Jamie. He's going, this He's is going all, to take her out. Yeah, this is speculation. Her, all speculation. Nothing from the books or whatever. Yeah, we're, we're way past the yeah, books. Yeah, I, I think that she's gonna, he's going to take her out. I think he's he's changed mm -hmm. since season one. I, I just rewatched season one through seven. Yeah. And seeing the progression. Six, yeah. yeah. Wow. Or one through six, yeah. Seeing the progression of Jamie Lannister's yeah. character. And it just seems like he... He's at the point now. I mean, remember, he did it once before. He was a king slayer. Yep. He, he took down the king for the good of the realm, even though everyone... Call them a traitor. Right, it's one of the moments we start that when it, when it flips and you start that eh, maybe Jamie was right. Yeah, <laughs> and Jamie's so, right. And so I think this is another situation. I mean, look at the Lancers are not as strong as they used to be. No. They, they, you know, uh, their no. father Tywin's gone. The money has run dry. Uncle they, Kevin's gone. Yeah. Uh, the the allies they don't have the allies that they used to have. Look, yeah. the Tyrells who were the, the second richest family in Westeros now have have against left them. and are against them. Every, and basically they're surrounded. Yeah. Everyone's closing in, and you got Danny. I love uh, her going to Dragonstone, her home. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is 
it, it's kind of like it's almost emotional seeing her come back and, and, and claiming this is her land that we've been following her for six seasons mm -hmm. and those dragons right in into action Dennis we, we remember when they were cute little baby yeah, little yeah, baby yeah. dragons now they're gonna kill an entire army um, I, I, I'm excited and there's some there's, I want to see who was kissing I didn't see Dennis yeah. uh, I, 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 so take I'm over sure, I'm sure we'll watch this frame by frame <laughs> frame later. by frame and then let's not forget the things and a lot of the promos have included the Night King um, I, we still have what's up there, that yeah. threat, but we have to take care of what's going on down and, there. And Jon Snow is probably the only one, even Daenerys does, has no clue about that stuff. Jon Snow knows about the impending threat from yeah. the north, yeah. so he's more concerned about that yeah. than trying to, because Jon Snow doesn't really want power. Yeah. He's looking to, to protect uh, all of Westeros. Right, and they talk again, the quote at the end, the Great War has begun, or the Great War started, whatever, I, I'm paraphrasing now, but uh, there was a producing note, a producer noted yesterday in that interview with Entertainment mm -hmm. Weekly that because of the fast pace of the stories, he's like, you know, we're going to see what happens when like White Walkers, White Walkers and Dragons get together. He didn't necessarily mean that we're going to see that, mm -hmm. but we're definitely potentially building for that, and they say the show's going to move faster. And this trailer... It, it all seemed, and yeah, it's a trailer minute 48 of, of, of seven hours, but, uh, but it all seemed big fighting Yes, things. much more action, much faster pace. Also much, and look, the show already is cinematic, but even, yes. the, even from this trailer, just watching some of the shots that they had, it's like, wow, they're really, I think maybe because it's only seven episodes, and it, if anyone knows about production, when you do these kind of action sequences, they take a lot longer than dialogue sequences, right. so it makes sense why even though it's seven episodes, uh, it actually took longer to shoot than right. previous seasons. Right, and I, when I when it first announced that it was going to seven from ten, uh, and I think six in the final season yeah. as well, I was a little disappointed. A lot oh, of yeah. fans there, but but Dennis, you're so right about the production and be able to put more money on these things. Mm -hmm. I, I am now couldn't care less that it is seven episodes. I just want to see. You what know what helps happen. though, for for fans like you and me, that we know that. Look, they're making like four or five, or the four yeah. or five prequels are in development. Look, yes. they're not going to have four or five yeah, prequels, right, right, right. but they're developing something. So we may see one, two. We may see one that's a mini series, yeah. and then maybe one that's a continuing I series. Like that. So you and me know we got more Game of Thrones. We got even a lot after more all coming, all the cool stuff. Oh, God, I just the Dothraki man in the yeah. middle of riding on the oh, jumping on top of the horse. Oh, the, yeah. That's my reaction. To everything. Oh, <laughs> so cool. All right, guys. So let us know what you think about this trailer. You can post your comments below. Ken, where can people find you? You can find me at Catnaps. So like Dennis said, I have a show on the app Anchor called Daily Thrones. I'll be talking about this there, and we're going to be talking about Game of Thrones all the time. Yeah, we're right. actually me and Ken are going to be on the Game of Thrones show. We're going to be reviewing all the the new episodes. I yeah. think we will start maybe a week or two ahead of the new You're season right. to do like a preview episode. Love but it. you, me, and then we'll get a few other uh, Game of Thrones nerds on there yeah, as well. Absolutely, some fun and familiar faces. Yeah. All right, guys, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at ThinkHero or Instagram, Dennis.TZNG. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.